I don't know how many people have heard about this story or not. Some of you by now have already heard it, especially if you live in the state of Texas. But this is one of those things where you can say that the punishment does not fit the crime. And the people that gave him this sentencing got a lot of nerve for doing it. So this man's name is Larry Pearson, and he is 36 years old out of Texas. And he was just sentenced to a whopping 70 years in prison for spitting at the cops during a domestic violence arrest. And when you hear the reason as to why they they did this, it just sounds extremely petty. Now, I will see I will say this. Spitting is one of the most disgusting acts that anybody can do. I believe that's called biological warfare or biochemical warfare. Someone can correct me down in the chat or in the comment section. But it is one of the most disgusting acts that can happen to somebody. And if you get them hands put on you for doing so, that was very much well deserved. However, this 70 years is absolutely insane, especially when you think about all the instances where a lot of white men, especially, and even some white women have gotten combative with police that involved them actually taking tasers or hitting them with batons or hitting them with their hands or in some cases running around and taking their cars and driving off and nothing happening to them or very minimal happening to them. And this guy got hit with 70 years. He got hit with time in prison that should be allotted for murderers. And even some murderers don't get that kind of time. He got hit with the kind of time that someone should get for violating someone. And a lot of them don't get that type of time. Hence the video I just did on Sean Hogg a couple weeks ago who violated that 13 year old girl over in Scotland and he didn't get no jail time. <clears throat> but this guy gets 70 years for something that if you was going to give him some time, granted, he was going to get some time regardless because of the domestic violence situation and what he did in, in spitting on them. Of course, he was going to get some time, but 70 years, that is beyond excessive use of power. And it just went through like it was nothing because they that's what they gave him, 70 years. I'm sure they're going to appeal the hell out of this so they can get this reduced because he's going to get some jail time, but it should not be nowhere near this long. Like, keeping this in mind, he's 36 years old. He gets 70 years. He won't be out till he's 106. He won't live that long. Well, let's go ahead and see what they're talking about. A Texas man is set to be behind bars for 70 years for spitting on police officers during a domestic violence arrest after prosecutors pushed for harsh sentencing. Larry Pearson, age 36, was sentenced for on Wednesday after he was found guilty on two counts of harassment of a public servant for spitting on two officers in May 2022. May, he was arrested after a domestic violence incident where the victim flagged an officer down on Zenith Avenues and claimed Pearson had hit her several times and had a gun on him, which turned out to be an airsoft gun. Now, I find it interesting. I, I want to know when in May did this happen? Because remember what also happened in May last year, Uvalde. That also happened in May. Now, granted, this was in Lubbock. This is in Lubbock, Texas, which is away from Uvalde, two different places, of course. But I'm curious when in May did this happen? Was this early May, mid-May, or towards the end of May? Because I never heard of this story. The victim had multiple visible injuries to her face, the police report said at the time. Pearson was taken into custody and grew angry after police refused to arrest the victim. Now, I found that very interesting, too. He said that he got mad with them because they refused to arrest her, which means he believes that she either started this or had a hand in why this whole incident went the way that it did, but they weren't trying to, they weren't trying to hear it. So it makes you wonder, did she start this? Cause let's not pretend that a lot of the times these kind of incidents happen or go under the radar on the side, on the behalf of the woman is sometimes that she'd be the one that starts it. But because hashtag believe all women is in full effect is basically the cousin to me too. And the not so distant cousin at that stuff like that can get believed. It all it goes on to read. He began to be, kick the squad car doors, and when officers asked him to stop, he spit on them. According to everything 
Lubbock. He would spit on them again after arriving at the Lubbock County Detention Center. Prosecutors had asked the jury to quote unquote send a message to Pearson during closing arguments. Now, peep those words. These were the words from the prosecutors. They told him or told them, the jury, to quote unquote send him a message. I can honestly say I've never heard that type of uh, phrasing before for a situation like this anyway. Maybe if you murdered somebody, you violated somebody, kidnapped somebody, somewhere along those lines, yeah, you probably would hear that. And even then you wouldn't hear because you should know what the outcome to that should be. But for this, they actually outright said, send him a message. And a message they did send. It says, if you're going to live the life of crime, you're going to do that among other criminals in prison, prosecutor Jessica Gorman said. However, Pearson's defense argued that this was a simple misdemeanor and that the situation had gotten out of control. The minimum sentence Pearson could have received was 25 years due to his prior convictions of aggravated robbery and continuous family violence. Lubbock is one of the most dangerous metropolitan areas and was once rated the third world, third most dangerous city in America by SafeWise. The city ranks high in violent crime and property crime. The SafeWise study estimated that one in 25 people were a victim of property crime in 2020. So there you have it. This man is about to go to jail for 70 years, not for the spitting. I mean, not for the, dom the domestic part, but for the spitting part. That's what they sentenced him on. That's what they got him on. Because let me read you again what he was found guilty of. Two counts of harassment of a public servant for spitting on two officers in May 2022. This man wasn't found guilty of why he, they were originally called there, which was a domestic dispute. But what they did was, is they leaned in on this and then he, leaned even heavier on his prior convictions. And said, I'm going to go ahead and just send a message and say to the jury, tell the jury to send a message, which was basically a subliminal dog language to say, throw the book at him. And the book they threw had 70 chapters in it. I hope his team fights this because that is absurd. You got all these PC men and women flying around out here who have done way, way worse and get way less time, sometimes no time. And this guy gets 70 years? Yeah. I, I think I expressed before a while back, and I'm going to express it right now. There are literally two Americas. And you're going to have some people that's going to say, oh, he deserved it, he deserved it, he deserved it. And you can point out all the other instances and examples of where you, I guess you could say other people deserved it, and they'll just shy away from it so it's like why bother it's like talking to a brick wall with steel with a steel wall behind that because i read some of the comments and some of them you know were you know reasonable saying the same things i was saying and saying that this is crazy how does someone get that many years for something like this and it's some murderers out there that don't get nowhere near that kind of time and then of course you had the usual suspect saying well if you do the crime you do the time and all types of stuff like that but like I said, they were going, they were leaning on his prior convictions just so they could give him this excessive one. Now, it makes you wonder, with them giving him 70 years just for this, how much would he have gotten had he did not have any prior convictions? Were they going to shave out 10 years and say give him 60 or 50? His team said that he should have gotten no more than 25. And even I think for something like that, that's still a bit excessive as well. But it's way less than 70. But then again, this is also Texas we're talking about here, too. 
I wonder if Governor Wheels is going to do something about this. I wonder if anybody's going to come out and say anything. Again, like I said, spitting is probably one of the most disgusting things anybody could do. It is just the thought of seeing of seeing that just leave somebody's mouth in the direction of another person. It, it's it's mind boggling to me. I don't even like to hear the sound of someone spitting on the ground. Much less spitting in the direction of someone in a disrespectful manner. Like I said, he was always going to get jail time, but 70 years. Who saw that coming? 